I'm John Carpenter from Santa Fe, Texas, and today we're going to be tying the Crystal Flash shrimp. And it, it's made of uh, Crystal Flash and uh, feathers. Two materials, very easy to tie. I'm using a new system instead of epoxy. It's called uh, Tough Fly. We're going to take about three pieces of Crystal Flash, three to four, and fold it in half. Standard size crystal flash, trim it off, and go ahead and tie it on to the shank of the hook. You want to leave about a quarter inch in the back here for your final knot whenever you tie it on. Next step of the fly is going to be tying on the eyes, which are made out of 30 pound hard mason. It's burned on both ends. And we're going to tie this on with a figure eight knot right by the point of the hook, even with the point. Go ahead and get that tied on it. Next, we're going to bend the eyes forward at a 45 degree angle. So we'll take a lighter and heat up a needle and we will use the needle to bend the uh, mono. It's pretty easy. Just lightly touch it on both sides of the eyes. Get these on a 45 degree angle. And we'll go ahead and use the core material for the tough fly. And we'll set these eyes. Put a little bit of the material on the eyes themselves. Make sure you get it all the way around on both sides of the fly. And then we'll take a UV light and cure the material, which is going to take about five seconds. Go ahead at this time and make another couple of thread wraps around the material. And we're going to incorporate a feather for the legs. We're going to tie this in Palmer style. I'm using a, uh, a banded hen neck on this. I'm going to peel off any of the fuzz that's on the bottom of the feather so you have a nice straight feather. Go ahead and tie it on right in front of behind these eyes. Back to about three quarters of the hook shank here. We're going to go ahead and wrap it now. It's wrapped around. Then we're going to go ahead and tie it off at the back here. These are going to be the legs for the fly. So we're going to actually take this off the top. Any of the little burrs of the feathers that are on the top, we want to trim off at this time. So we'll go ahead and cut, start cutting them off. Trim those off the top. Make sure you've got all the loose material off of there. Nice and straight. We'll go ahead and lay down a foundation coat of the core material here. This is going to seal all your thread wraps and everything. And we'll go ahead and hit it with the light for about 10 seconds. Now we're ready to lay the final pieces on. Once again, we're going to go back to the crystal flash. And this time you're going to take about eight strands of it. You're going to take, fold it. Fold it in half again, about eight strands, and cut it. You want to leave about one inch on the back here for your tail of your shrimp. Go ahead and lay it on the shank. Make a couple of wraps around the back side here. Make sure everything's straight. And then we'll do a whip finish on it here at the back. Tie it off, cinch it down, 
trim it off. Now you have the body ready for the final coat. And what we're going to do is load up underneath this crystal flash with the core material once again and make a setting for the foundation. So go ahead and apply your core material. Run some into the fibers of the material here. Then we're going to take a small brush, work it into the materials, and then lay the materials right down on top of the hook shank. The neat thing about this material is that uh, it's pretty thick and you can work with it. It's not like epoxy where it would be running. You can move it around a little bit and put it right where you need it at. Go ahead and hit it again with some material on the sides. Make sure everything's covered well. And then we want to then we want to go ahead and uh, hit it with the light again. Once again, about five or ten seconds on this, and it cures it out. Now the foundation's set. So what we're going to have to do is take the uh, fly out of the hook, and we're going to have to trim off the front of it, and then we'll put it back in. So I'm going to remove the fly, turn it over. I'm going to cut this off to make a horn for the shrimp. Now you have a horn for the shrimp here. Go ahead and lay it back into the vise. And we'll add some color for the tail now at this time. So we're going to want to color this tail with a marker. Trim it off. We're going to go ahead and do a final coat of the core material on here. So we want to go ahead and make sure we cover this on all sides with the core material. Good coverage on all sides. Then we're going to actually load up the top of the fly with this material. And we want to turn the fly over and let it sag a little bit because that's going to give you the natural arch of a shrimp. And we'll add some more material to it while we have it upside downwards. We'll let that set for just a second or two. It's going to sag a little bit. You want it to do that to give it a natural round curvature. Once it, you've got your desired effect there, then you'll go ahead and turn it up and hit it with the light again. It's going to be another five or ten seconds on the light. Now it's cured. And go ahead, the final step for this is going to be taking uh, an alcohol prep pad. Take the alcohol prep pad out and go ahead and wipe the top off. Clean everything up. Make sure everything's clean. Let that dry for a second or two. And then we're going to finish it with some Sally Hansen's Hard as Nails. I'm going to go ahead and hit the, hit the body itself. And then hit the eyes. And then one final trim on the front of the fly itself. You want to go ahead and cut these on an angle. And there you have the completed fly.